Hmm? Ah, sh**. Hey guys, this is C-Watt, and I am playing with myself. And this is Halo the Master Chief Collection, and I'm doing my Halo the Master Chief Collection. As I, oh shit. As I attempt to get every achievement in the Master Chief Collection, which has increased to 6,000. Thank you, fucking ODST. Uh, so, today I'm going for the super simple, hopefully, part-time in the library, which is my most hated of all Halo missions. Well, except for maybe one or two in Halo 2. So, attempting to run this one, uh, from what I remember about checking it earlier, I believe... Ooh, ah, no, shotgun ammo. Hoping for an assault rifle at some point. Nope, that was a pistol. Oh dear. Um, ooh, no, I'm supposed to be back here. Uh, fuck, my, alright, my brain is all over the place, which I will explain in a minute. Am I still waiting for him to open that door? Yes, I am. Speed it up, buddy. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot hear what he's saying at the moment. I will also explain that in a minute. Uh, you're gonna have to bear with me for this video, potentially. Fucking bastard. Alright, fine, grenade out. Ow! Goddamn. Where was I? Right, part-time. 20 minutes. Uh, hoping I can make it. It's been a while since I played this mission, apart from, you know, when I played it on Legendary when I was playing through with Andre. Um, so this video is going to be a little bit different um, because I don't really enjoy this mission and to the best of my knowledge... Well, I have no strategies for how I'm going to beat this faster. I'm sure there are some strats out there for doing it, but... Um, didn't really feel like looking them up because I felt pretty confident I could hit the 20 minutes anyway. Oh, shit. Um, oh, fuck. Ooh, I will waste a little bit of time to get that because... Uh, Alright. <laughs> the reason I'm going to waste a little bit of time to get that is because I've put a couple of... Ooh, a couple of skulls on. Uh, I have boom, which makes explosions twice as big, which is why that grenade earlier fucked me up, and which is why I wanted to pick up this. Um, I thought it might help. It may actually end up hindering, as it has done in the past. I... Oh, shit. I wonder if those count as explosions. Uh, I also did Grunt Birthday Party, which... Now that I think about it, I don't think there are even any Covenant enemies on this level. I'm... Ooh, that was nice. I'm pretty sure it is just all Flood, so... Unnecessary. Uh, same goes for Grunt Funeral, which is where Grunts die in explosions, so... Ooh, look at all those medals. Thank you very much. I am wasting time. And last pinata, punching enemies gives me grenades. So, yay for that. Ooh, elevator. So, the reason this video is going to be a little different is, as I was saying, I've got no strats for this, so I'm just doing whatevs. The other reason this video is going to be a little bit different is I'm not 100% sure at this stage whether or not I will even put this video out. Uh, mainly because it's going to be formatted a little bit differently to my other ones in terms of what I talk about. Over the last two weeks, at the time of this recording, I was over in Chicago visiting my lovely best friends over there and having an absolute blast. And oh shit, my health is low. When the fuck did that happen? Having an absolute blast with them. Um, unfortunately, the two weeks has absolutely worn me down though because I was on a plane every fucking four days. I basically had to fly the wonderful 27 hour journey, ooh shit, 27 hour journey, um, which I think it's longer than that when you factor in like all the stopovers and waiting at the first uh, airport and all that kind of bullshit. Um, oh, yeah. You know, if I could, there we go, that's what I wanted. Um, fucking, my brain is fried. So, 27 hour journey to get there, then four days later. Oh, you fuck. Oh, I ran out of grenades. And then when I got there, I got to rest for a few days until... Oh. 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 Beautiful. Have you opened the door yet? There we go. I got to rest up for about four days before we flew down to Austin, which... Oh, my God. That flight was amazing, because... I... I fly a lot. And, uh, but whenever I do fly, I'm usually flying to Chicago or somewhere into the US. And coming from Perth, that is just a fucking nightmare. Like, 
like, I have friends in Australia who absolutely piss me off whenever they're like, Oh, I have to fly from Perth to Melbourne. I'm going to be so tired. It's a five-hour flight. Get the fuck over it. Try flying goddamn 27 hours every time you want to go to the place you actually want to go to. Anyway, I digress. Uh, so, yeah, Austin flight was just an absolute breeze. It was like two hours. I basically got on the plane. It got up in the air, and then I went down. It was, I loved it. I, I was actually semi-excited. Oh, shit. I want that. Give it to me. No, you fucking... That could have been super useful to me if you hadn't ruined it. Does it still have ammo? It does! Uh, and so then I spent a wonderful four days in Austin. Um, so being from Australia, I'm used to heat. Uh, Chicago kind of bothers me in the summer due to the unbearable humidity. Don't have to deal with that too much at home. We usually get a pretty dry heat, so I had the shitty humidity in Chicago, and then I got to Austin, and I was like, ah, oh, thank God, and then it actually ended up being quite a hot weekend, I mean, no real hotter than we get here, you know, like, it wasn't too much worse, I just think it was, after being in a humid place, and then also being a pretty mild winter here, and then going there, it was just like, Jesus Christ, it was just this sudden transition, it's like when I come back from Chicago's winter into Australian summer, and I just want to fucking die, um, but... Shit, no, 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 damn it, fuck, ah, fuck you, and it didn't load back the time, that's, no, I'm facing the wrong way, I want to go this way, um, god damn it, what a waste of fucking time, so that was, you know, different, ah, oh. ah, fuck off, I think I'm going this way, so I was in Austin, for RTX, if you haven't figured that out already, or if I haven't said it already. Um, right, before I go any further with that, I'm going to explain. The reason my brain is all over the place is because today is Monday. Uh, I arrived back in Perth after 27 hours of flying on 6am Sunday, yesterday, and it is currently night time on Monday, and I've been up since midnight this morning. So, a um, little bit jet lagged normally not much of an issue for me uh fuck oh all the way back here. shit uh jet lag's normally not much of an issue for me coming back from chicago because when i'm in chicago i'm actually usually on a ass backwards fucking sleep cycle anyway i'm usually up all night um that's because that's the sleep cycle my best friend's usually on and i'm usually there to spend time with her and, and my other friends over there so I usually end up on that, especially since when I normally go, I'm usually there for at least a month, so enough time for me to really fuck that up. Uh, but it means getting back is an absolute breeze, but this time, uh, because I had to stay on a relatively normal sleep cycle while I was there because of RTX, I have come back and my sleep is just all over the fucking place. So today, I'm just... I am... I'm literally struggling to... F uh, to form coherent sentences and to do basic things in this game at the moment, and I don't think I'm gonna get this achievement. This is gonna be fucking infuriating. Jesus Christ. You are kidding me! So, I've been dealing with uh, the jet laggedness and just being up for much longer than I would have liked. Uh, as well as that, I've also been having some significant technical difficulties that have been really fucking just pissing me off. Uh, my Astro A50 headphones, which I use for, you know, my Xbox for while I'm recording and also use for my PC while I'm editing, have just decided to stop working with anything, which they periodically do. This is about the third time this happens since I've gotten them, and once again, I cannot remember how the fuck I fixed them last time. I just remembered that there is something simple I did to fix it after six hours of troubleshooting, and it's this is the third time it's happened, and each time I can never fucking remember what the simple solution was, so... Yeah, ah, uh, what? It... My rocket fucking flew, like, on a diagonal, that... What? I'm ne- I'm not gonna make it. So, I had a really great time in Chicago, visiting my friends, uh, as usual. I'm very excited to know that I'm gonna be going back fairly soon, in about three months, and I should be there for quite a while. Um, RTX was 
pretty great. I got to see some cool things, meet some cool people, got some, um, a lot of inspiration and ideas for, uh, for what I might like to do in some of my upcoming content. Um, I also got a chance to meet the wonderful and talented Griffin Ramsey, who I am an enormous fan of. Uh, I got to meet her on the Sunday afternoon, which was awesome considering I had stopped by on all three days uh, trying to see her, but each time there was quite a line and the Guardians usually had it capped, which meant, um, you know, I couldn't hang around and so I'd have to walk away. And so I finally got the chance to have a chat to her very late on the Sunday. Um, and it was really cool because even though it was really late on the Sunday and she knew lots of people, you know, still wanted to meet her and say hi, she took time with um, at least a few minutes with everyone to kind of say hi and you know find out what they're up to and what they liked about her work and um, you know let them know you know I had a conversation about what's coming up with her, her patreon and things like that so it was it was really cool um, I also had the opportunity uh, thanks to a mutual friend to meet Brian who is the uh, I believe he's the head of the motion graphics at Rooster Teeth. I uh, got to go have dinner with him as he is friends with a mutual friend of mine who also works in that industry. Um, he was... The only word that comes to mind is genuine. Um, well, the main word that comes to mind is genuine. He was super friendly, super nice. I had an absolute blast meeting him and hanging out with him. Um, and he was just... A very nice guy and just seemed down to earth and yeah oh shit so that was cool um, got to see some cool things on center stage uh, had an absolute blast wandering around downtown Austin got to check out a cool uh, a couple of cool food places I'd wanted to check out um, I love food and you know there's just something about greasy American food and you know bar and like good barbecues like smoked barbecue and oh my Tex-Mex was amazing like you just you, you don't get food ah fuck you don't get food like that where I live ah fuck well at least I check point of close yeah they don't, they don't have food like that where I live I'll, I'll tell you that much so that that was that was really cool oh and um I made sure that me and my two friends who would uh who I went with we made time to go to the Alamo Draft House because I've always wanted to check that out. And it was everything I imagined and more. And I still cannot believe that I only had to pay $8 for a ticket to the Alamo Draft House considering cinemas here. You have to pay like 20 to $25 for a base ticket for sitting in some shitty seats next to some absolute wankers who you just want to punch in the face. So to pay $8 for that experience was just mind-blowing. Fuck! Well, I'm literally just not saying anything right now because my brain is just struggling to process things to talk about. Oh, right. Yeah, hardware difficulties. Derp, derp. Uh, so yeah, my Astro 50 has just decided because they felt like it stopped working, which, you know, it has happened before. I'm... I want to make it clear I'm not, like, denigrating... I think that's a good ah fuck! I'm not saying there's anything wrong with the product. I I love that particular brand of headphones. Uh, they suit my purposes amazingly, and they usually work fine. But I've just been having this fucking recurring issue with them. Um, the other major problem I've been experiencing is Windows doesn't like me, and I just what the fuck was that? Shoot a grenade, or did he have a rocket launcher? Or... He had a rocket launcher. Uh, Windows doesn't like me. Um, uh, I'm I'm almost at breaking point. I literally am this close to just throwing in the towel and buying a Mac bin and just starting with that because I I don't know how much more I can deal with fucking my. I just... Fuck. It must have something to do with my setup because I just once every six. Uh, I want that rocket launcher. 
Uh, once every six months or so, I just get some kind of major corruption to my C drive, and it happened a couple months ago. And I said, if it happened again, I was just gonna, I was gonna, I was gonna bite the board and swap to Mac. And uh, I got home yesterday. I set up a project file for a video I needed to edit to go out uh, very soon. And I thought, you know what? I'm tired. I'm jet lagged. I haven't slept. I will have. I'll, I'll have a nap, I'll get up and then I'll work on it. I had a nap, got up and thought, still a bit tired. I'll have a proper sleep. You know, I'll probably wake up around midnight and I'll be tired, you know, the next day. But that's fine, I'll just wake up around midnight and I'll just get it done in the morning. And then, you know, then I'll, I'll call it quits and, and that'll be it. Uh, so I get up at midnight, uh, as per my plan, and I get ready to work on it. And, uh, wouldn't you know... Windows is trying to repair itself, even though it was working fine six hours before. So I've had to run a repair on that, and a result of running a repair on that is that now I have to reinstall my Adobe Suite again. So I'm dealing with that fucking clusterfuck. So, you know, I'm tired. I'm not happy with the hardware shit that's been going on with my stuff lately. Um... I just, I want a nap. Like, I, I, had a, I had a pretty great two weeks, but Jesus Christ, I'm tired. Um, if I haven't mentioned it before, like, I've, I've, I've mentioned Chicago a number of times, and that uh, I visit my friends there and I have a great time. But uh, if I haven't mentioned it previously in my videos, Chicago or Austin, either or, because they're both pretty, pretty fantastic cities, uh... But more so Chicago, because my friends, uh, is, is very much a place that I I really want to move to. I I want to pick up everything tomorrow and just move to Chicago and hang out with my friends and just work on the things I want to work on and not have to deal with some of the crap, you know, that I have to deal with my uh, with stuff that I have to deal with here. Um, and so every time... I come back, you know, I'm in a shitty mood because I've had to leave, you know, my, my best friends behind and come back to, you know, a place where, eh, it's, you know, Perth's not bad, but it's just, it's very boring and just nothing much happens and what can you do? You know what? I think I came in just under the fucking wire. Is this the end? No, I think I still have to go up one more. Oh, well. I'll, I'll run it through to the end. Might as well. Yes, yeah, so every time I come back, someone always asks the question, Oh, you know, how you feel being back? And because I pride myself on being an honest person, I always say, I fucking hate this place. I don't want to be here. And then someone always makes the fucking comment every time. Always someone, Why don't you just move? Why don't you just move to Chicago? Really? Why don't I just, why don't I just pick up a move? Gee, I, uh, you know, I would never thought of that. Now that you put it like that, why don't I? Um, I mean, it's not like I've been trying to do that for eight years, but, you know, running into issues with visas and, you know, all that kind of shit that people have to deal with when they want to try and, you know, pick up their life and move to an entire other country. But, uh, no, thanks. Thanks for that. So, yeah, I, I had been back in the presence of people for less than 30 minutes before someone made that comment and I nearly fucking lost an eye rolling them 22 minutes you know what maybe uh oh. no nope, I didn't need that maybe when I when I've got a bit more sleep maybe in a day or two I'll come back to this one and uh, I'll re-record it exactly the same but uh a little less rambly, a little less. I can I can barely focus on what it is that I'm talking about. It's just it's unbelievable. Seriously, you can open it there. That would be awesome. If you could open it there, that would be absolute yes. No, you cock juggling thunder. There we go. Oh no! Don't kill me yet. Don't kill me. Fucker! I'm right there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still going in the hopes that it still unlocks because I've had some weird glitches with some of the Halo uh, achievements, especially the part-time and pass score ones. 
uh, while I was away, myself and Andre finished our playthrough of Halo 3 Legendary, and on several missions got the part-time while playing it on Legendary, and definitely taking like over an hour to finish a mission, so... You know, I'm not, I'm not gonna say no to free achievements. Okay, this is gonna be... Lost the fuck. Oh dear. Nope. Okay, that's that's where I'm gonna go. That's it. Come on, come on. So yeah, it's been a it's been a fun two weeks. It's been a tiring two weeks. Um, all I know is I have a lot of shit that I've planned and that I want to get done on this channel. So um, hey, keep watching and uh, hope you like what's coming up. So let's see if I get this fucking achievement. Skip. Skip. Oh, just. Okay. I want to go have a nap. I want a nap. Woo! Oh my god. This game is. Fuck it. Shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> 